now all new at 11 and a young superstar runner walking out of a South Florida jail. Yet Tyrese Cooper's promising future possibly in doubt tonight. The 18 year old is one of the fastest young sprinters, not just here in Florida or in the country, but actually the entire world. Tonight he claims he got in with the wrong crowd trying to steal some cars. New tonight, CBS 4's Arayo Ortega spoke with the teen's track coach. She's live near Miami International Airport where this all began. Aralia. Rick and Rudobe, this track coach sees this young man like a son. He even took Tyrese Cooper into his home for four years. He says he knows him real well, so he says he knows that when he came here with that group to this car rental center to allegedly steal cars, he was just with the wrong crowd. One of the nation's top high school track athletes walks out of jail following his arrest Monday for allegedly trying to steal rental cars near Miami International Airport. Wrong place, one time, for sure. Wrong place, one time. Wrong crowd. According to the arrest report, Tyrese Cooper, along with five other teenagers, was spotted casing the third floor of the Miami Intermodal Center off Lejeune and 25th Street by Hertz manager. Police say the teens were in an unauthorized area and the managers saw chains cut from the concrete barricades exactly where the co-defendant's vehicle was parked. There have been several incidents where chains have been cut in order to steal rental cars from the facility, according to police. Cooper offered this explanation outside of jail. Picking up two friends. No cars are stolen, no cars are missing. Tyrese Cooper is coming in. Cooper's track coach, who says he was heartbroken upon hearing about the arrest, says the 18-year-old has an impressive track record as one of the fastest runners in the world. He has the age group world record for the 300 meters indoors at 16. He has the um, he has the freshman national record for a ninth grader. He has the freshman ninth, um, national record as a sophomore in the 200 and 400. His coach tells us that junior at Norland Senior High was just offered a scholarship to Florida State. He hopes his arrest does not affect that scholarship or any future offers. I just hope none of my scholarships have been taken away from me because of this incident. Most likely they'll be dismissed because I have a good, great lawyer. Ed Cooper was set to compete at the state championships this coming Friday. His coach says he's not sure what's going to happen with that. Cooper is facing several charges, including attempted grand theft. Live near Miami International Airport, Aurelia Ortega, CBS 4 News, tonight.